Hi everyone, welcome to this Pick A Card reading. So first of all, I just want to take a moment to thank you for your support here on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. You know, I really am grateful for it. Um, if you aren't a subscriber already, then, you know, do click subscribe on the channel so that you can get notifications about when I upload future videos. Um, yeah, I'm loving doing the Pick A Cards. I really do enjoy them. I am going to try and do a few more kind of like twin flame check-ins because um, I do miss doing them here on YouTube. At the moment, they've all kind of been on my members area just because that's where I felt guided to do them. But I will try and get back with that, you know, if that's something that you guys want because, you know, this is your channel. So I want to do, you know, what makes you happy. So I want to carry on with the Pick A Cards, but I probably will do some more collective um, general messages as well. So... What else? Yeah, the topic of this pick a card basically is the month of May for you. So we're going to see what is going on. Um, you know, love, career, generally, we'll see what comes through. Um, kind of like open up to whatever messages spirit wants you to hear for your group. So I'm going to use different tarot decks. We've got different tarot for each group. And then I'm also going to use Romance Angels, the Lovers Oracle, Moonology, and um, a Spirit Animal deck. So we're going to use like a mixture of them. But yeah, if you want to click the timestamp in the description box um, below for your group, we have group one, which is the Carnelian with the Light Seers Tarot. Um, we have group two, which is Tattoo Tarot with the Charoite um, Heart here, this beautiful purple stone. And then we have group three with the Wild Unknown Tarot and this Lapis Lazuli Stone. Um, you can buy all these crystals at crystalcaveonline.co.uk and um, you can find a link to that in my description box below as well. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin. So, um, I need to move these. Okay. Group one, Carnelian. So first of all, let's talk a bit about Carnelian. This is a stone to help with motivation and encouragement. It brings fresh energy into your life. So if you've been through some challenging times, then this stone kind of brings in a rush of warm, um, warm energy back into your life. So, you know, maybe May is going to be the month where things start looking up for you after some challenging times. It's also a stone of like courage and confidence. If you're doing something new um, or you're trying to break a habit, you know, or you're just feeling like you've, you know, you need that encouragement right now, then this is going to help with that. It enhances love, passion and desire as well. So, you know, it could be that there is some sexual energy um, entering your life in this month of May. You know, it's definitely a stone to to bring in that passion back into your life. It's also a talisman for making money. So, you know, there could be more money coming to you um, in the month of May. And it kind of, it clarifies your voice, gives you confidence in your speaking as well. So I feel like you're going to go through some quite big changes. Um, it feels like you've already been through them, group one. You've already been through the transformation. And this is the month where you actually get to step out and be, um, be yourself, you know, show the world who you really are. Okay, I am going to leave that there. And let's start with the tarot. So group one, let's see what is going on for you guys this month. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So yeah, we have some new beginnings here. Um, and this is, I feel like this is passion because we've got the Page of Wands here and the Temperance. So there's going to be some passion entering your life here. There's going to be a new beginning, a fresh start in relationships. Um, I definitely feel like you've been through a bit of a dark night of the soul the last few months. You know, you've been through some challenging times and now that it's starting to balance itself out here, you're coming back into... Um, you're coming back into balance personally. You know, you're going to start attracting that harmony back into your life as well because you are creating the environment within yourself and around yourself to attract um, this good energy into your life. With the Page of Wands, I feel like um, the month of May, you're going to be quite creative. You are going to be maybe even starting your own business or pursuing like a new project here. You're going to be doing something fun, something which brings out your inner child. You know, it's something which you really are very passionate about and you enjoy doing. So um, I also feel like there could be a reconciliation. So there could be um, something about your relationships, like you maybe like meeting up with someone, going on a date with someone. Um, it could be someone from a past who's returning here. But I feel like this is someone who's at your vibrational level. You've been working on raising your vibes and healing and now you are attracting someone into your life who is at um, the level you've been asking for. This is a vibrational match for you. 
Um, so be open to that because I feel like there is someone here who wants to come into your life who you could have a very stable foundation with. You're going to have a fun month this month, guys. Um, like May is going to be full of fun, creativity, um, a bit of freedom as well. It seems like you're doing something here to free yourself from a past cycle. Some of you might be leaving a job, starting a new job or just having um, some time on your own. Something's coming full circle here. So I'm seeing like there's a sense of completion now. It's like before the circle was broken and you couldn't, um, you couldn't complete this cycle. You felt very stuck. And now I'm seeing that that, that gap has been bridged and you completed some kind of major lesson or healing throughout the last few months. And May is where you're going to see that, that completion. Group one, your May. There's going to be a rebalance in your sacral chakra. So I do feel like there's going to be some new, like, um, creative, passionate, sexual, um, like, sensual energy which is entering your life this month. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. There is someone here. Um, I feel like this is a person who's coming into your life who's going to help you balance your sacral chakra. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be some good sexual energy which um, kind of, like, reignites your fire. This... This energy which is entering your life this month, it um, it boosts your confidence, it helps you lay a foundation for yourself and it's just something you're very passionate about. I feel like you're going to be um, expressing yourself creatively, you're going to be kind of like releasing a lot of blocks you've had within and there's a sense of freedom. I really do feel like you've been through um, some really challenging times for like the last couple of months and now you're freeing yourself from that cycle you're ready to just have fun i'm getting you're not scared of your own shadow so maybe in the past you've had a lot of healing you've tried to avoid your shadow work um, and now you're embracing it like i'm just getting you're not scared of your own shadow you're you're not afraid to like dance in the dark is what they're saying and it's really beautiful it's like you're not afraid to just um be yourself, which includes, you know, it includes the shadows, like this temperance card, we, you know, with a duality, we are shadow and light, and you can't be all light, you know, you can't be all darkness, so it's saying that you found that balance here, you're not afraid to say, do you know what, I do have these qualities about myself, which, um, you know, they, they are like my ego, my shadow side, but I'm embracing that. You know, you're actually really understanding who you are and realizing that you don't have to run from any aspects of yourself this month. So what can you expect to see this month in May? Your career is gonna be taking off. I feel like many of you are starting a new job. You're leaving a job or you're just starting your own project here, like maybe a new project at work. Yeah, you've got choices in your career, there's options. Maybe you're a little bit indecisive about what to do here. You don't know um, whether you're ready to move on. You don't know what, what choice to take. It's like you're overthinking things right now. Um, and I do feel like there's something that you clearly want to do, but there's an indecision holding you back. That's probably why you chose this carnelian stone because you need to be bold here. And um, this is also a stone of leadership. So perhaps you're thinking of starting your own business and you don't know what steps to take. And Spirit's saying, look, there will be money, you know, there will be support here. You just need to be confident. You need to follow your motivation. If you're being um, kind of like motivated elsewhere, if you're not motivated in your current work situation, then perhaps it is time to move on from that. Perhaps it is time to make a change here and move towards something much greater, you know, in this card, it's like all the cups are the same apart from this one in the middle. And it's like, you know what it is you want to do. You know what the choice is you want to make, but you're you're holding yourself back here and it's time to maybe take that leap of faith. Yeah, I feel like you've already made your mind up here, group one, and maybe the month of May is the time for you to actually make that decision. Hand your notice in at work, you know, start your business, set up your website, get your logo made, start taking little steps here which are going to move you towards the path you want to be on. We have a nine of cups. Yeah, free yourself. Look, focus on your wish fulfillment here. Focus on what is going to bring you joy. Make a decision. It's like, you know what? I think 
you're already in a good place group one i do sense you've been through some challenging times but you've been balancing yourself out you have reached a higher vibration and the seven of cups is saying look you can choose one last cup to complete this picture to turn this nine of cups into the ten of cups and um, what is it you're going to choose what is going to enhance your life what is going to bring you even more happiness and i'm getting like look ahead to the future so don't think about what you want to do over the next few months think about where you want to be in like 10 years time you know where do you want to be even like next year in 12 months time um what decision can you make this month in may to bring you closer to that goal or to put you on track here i'm being shown like work with friends so i do feel like maybe you're going to be brainstorming with friends don't be scared to like seek advice from other people. Yeah, we have the magician this month. I really do feel like love is kind of on hold this month. And this is more about your passions, your creativity. There's going to be some sexual energy. So I do feel like there's going to be um, like new love entering, but it's definitely not the focus this month. The focus is on you making decisions for your future. It's like your relationship situation is being resolved itself. You don't need to worry about that this month. Um, this is about you starting to think about what it is you want to create, manifesting the future you want, being a leader of your life. You know, you, you get to write your own book here. You get to decide what your destiny is. And once you know what it is you want to achieve, it's time to really create, co-create with spirit here, set your intentions, ask for what it is you desire, um, and then make space for it in your life. You know, you've got to make room for it. Some of you are asking for like a new job or situation here, but you're not actually taking the steps to make space for that. Um, for example, I know I didn't want to leave my job until I had enough money in my business. And it was like, do you know what? I need to take that leap of faith because I can't make the money I want to make in my business because I'm still working a full-time job. And it was once I actually made the space for my business to grow by quitting that full-time job, that is when it took off. So it's like, you know, you you might have to step out of your comfort zone, be brave, be courageous, um, you know, and make the space yourself. It's like, once you put yourself in the right situation, everything is gonna start fitting into place. There is um, a little bit of heartache here, group one. So I am feeling like there's been some past hurt in a relationship. There's been some disappointment. I'm very conscious that, you know, that has happened to you. Um, but I do feel like this is a month where you are recovering from that or like where it doesn't really affect you anymore. It's like the past heartache. You've healed enough of it to be able to live your life. I'm, I'm getting the song Memories. Um by like Maroon 5. I do feel like there are still some memories here and you're definitely still thinking about this person but it doesn't keep you stuck anymore and the month of May I sense that maybe there's going to be more memories coming in you know maybe it's going to be a month of like nostalgia here but I feel like you're balancing it out really really well. There's a lot of emotional healing which has happened. Um, but your heart chakra is opening here. So the reason why you might be feeling these memories and stuff, it is because your heart chakra is opening, which is a positive thing. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. So in relationships, perhaps um, someone has withdrawn from you in the past. There's been some kind of silence or separation. I feel like you felt quite stuck about the situation. Maybe you were blaming yourself for what went wrong. Um, and actually it wasn't to do with you this person had to go through their own awakening they had to open their crown chakra they had to maybe this was you maybe you had to go through your spiritual awakening you had to open your crown chakra and connect with your guides so take it as it resonates but i do just sense that your relationships there's balance coming um to your love i do feel like you're attracting someone who is the right vibration for you this could be someone new it could be someone from the past but as you've worked on raising your vibes you're attracting your divine counterpart or someone who is a match for you this could be a water sign as well because i'm getting strong water vibes here um maybe a pisces and um, we have the moon and we have the seven of wands so yeah shield yourself from your own fears i do feel like you can get in your head sometimes group one and your head can kind of be your worst enemy you know it keeps you kind of stuck here so i am sensing that you actually need to focus on protecting your energy shielding yourself from outside influences maybe this month you just want some time on your own maybe uh, maybe you're not looking for relationships this month you just want some kind of peace you want to look after yourself put yourself first um 
you've done a lot of hard work. I feel like there's a relationship in the past quite recently where you put a lot of hard work and investment into that and it didn't come to fruition and there was disappointment around that. Um, you've moved on from it. I do feel like you have um, you have crossed the bridge. It's like you have moved on from this relationship, but there's still a little bit of recovery needed because you invested so much into this connection and it didn't work out. Like you two were just on opposite sides. It wasn't the right time. For some, this might come back around later on, but for others, it's like you just, you want to move on from this. You want to recover. Um, I do sense that the month of May, you need to be conscious about where your headspace is. Make sure that you are choosing your thoughts. You know, make sure you're not letting your fears get the best of you. Around relationships, what I'm getting here is that there's um, hidden elements about your love life which are not meant to be revealed to you right now. You're not going to find them in any reading. Even if you book a personal reading, I definitely sense that something's being held back from you in love for a reason. It's going to catch you by surprise. It's going to come to you when you're least expecting it. So don't try and work too much out about kind of like your love life just surrender go with the flow and focus on your career and your passions because as you do that you're making space for this surprise in your relationship to happen i think you and your divine counterpart are kind of at a distance right now maybe physically maybe you're like opposite ends of a country maybe different countries and um, there's some kind of physical distance but they're showing me that you two will be reconnecting in the future i feel like summertime is going to see um you two being able to spend more time together or um yeah just bridge this gap group one what else do you need to know for the month of may we have the strength card yet. Yeah. This is all about courage, guys. The month of May is about you being a leader, being bold, balancing yourself out, um, stepping into your power. This is a month of you really finding your power. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. It's time to rise above it. And the way she's kind of like caged this uh, this cup here, I feel like it is about just putting love to one side for now and focusing on yourself, focusing on your own dreams. Um, kind of dreaming a little bit here, group one. You know, start to dream big, start to think about what you want to achieve and believe it can happen. You know, I'm really getting like, believe in the impossible because it you know it is achievable for you you have big ambitions and the month of may is about starting to make decisions which are going to fulfill your ambitions let us just get a romance angel card to see what is going on in your love life group one okay so your love life for may we have the wedding card so there's going to be commitment quite soon i feel like you're waiting for someone do you know what it's kind of like you already know who you want to be with and you're kind of waiting for that to happen there might have been some deception in the past in your relationships which you are healing from don't worry like your union is going to happen here so the month of may i feel like there could be a reconciliation there could be someone new entering but you are on track towards getting the relationship which you desire you're attracting someone who you could spend your life with your divine counterpart someone who is your vibrational match if they don't show up this month then they're showing up quite soon your love life group one what did i say very soon so very soon there is going to be someone entering your life here who you could have a commitment with. Um, I feel like we've got the getting to know each other here. So I feel like you're going to be getting to know this person quite soon. And this is someone who you will actually have a potential here to marry and um, to settle down with. Let me just get the... Oh, I can't pick these up. Some lovers oracles. Let's see... What other love messages we've got for you guys for the month of May. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to be meeting this person quite soon. Yeah, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So yeah, there has been some kind of past hurt in relationships here. But you're going to be seeing um, the blessing for that quite soon. There's going to be... Yeah, I mean, look, through turmoil, a blessing is soon to be revealed. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. There is love which is entering your life. It could very well be this month or it's going to be soon. Um, don't worry about love because love is going to resolve itself this month, I feel. I definitely sense that you're going to be entering quite a harmonious relationship um, over the next couple of months. And this month is just about you focusing on your passions. And then the rest is kind of going to just 
fit into place. You know, this moon card is saying, look, there's an element of surprise and secrets around your love life. Don't worry about what's coming. Just know that you are on track. Okay, the month of May, group one. Hold your vision and luck is on your side. So yeah, um, you might have had to take a step back lately, but it's like, you know, when you have to shoot an arrow, you have to pull it back for it to move forwards. So here I'm getting, you know, you might have felt like you've been pulled back, like there's been some challenges lately, but you're about to experience really good luck. Um, hold your vision, believe in the impossible. For some of you, you know, you have this vision about the future and this is the month where you need to start taking steps towards that. Let's just get you a spirit animal for this month. And this is going to be kind of like your sign. I feel like if you see this spirit animal around and about and it's confirmation that this reading was for you. So let's see what your spirit animal is for the month of May, group one. Starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibility. Yeah, believe. Believe and you, you know, you will achieve it. And I love it in the King of Cups, we also have a starfish here. So yeah, starfish is definitely your spirit animal for the month of May, group one. And this is about believing in the impossible. Um, huge possibilities coming into your life with the Seven of Cups. You are going to have decisions to make in this month of May. And Spirit's just saying focus um, on making decisions around what's, what's going to bring you the most passion, the most joy into your life. Um, I'm getting like you're you're kind of stepping back into yourself like you've been maybe a little bit lost for some time and now you're really finding yourself you know and as you do that as you connect more with yourself um be more authentic like find your your life purpose here that's how you open up all these doors to all these possibilities but you're definitely going to have decisions to make about what it is you want okay that is all group one let us move on to group two we get a drink Okay, group two, you chose the Charoite heart. This is a gorgeous stone, I absolutely love it. Um, so this is a stone which embodies the violet rays. So perhaps you work with Archangel Michael. Um, it's a very, very spiritual stone. This is a stone which connects the crown chakra and the heart chakra. So it kind of connects um, with like unconditional love here. It's a very rare and complex stone. It helps um, with dreaming. So, you know, if you struggle to remember your dreams then this is a really wonderful stone to use and it helps access past lives and heal like really deep emotional trauma. This is like, it heals a kind of trauma which has been carrying, um, carried with you for lifetimes, like past life, like ancestral trauma. It's a really wonderful stone to use and I put it by the side of my bed. And it helps me heal whilst I sleep. It also um, opens spiritual guidance for the future. So um, perhaps, you know, this month you are going to be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of guidance from spirit. And yeah, it helps bring like spiritual energy, energy into union with unconditional love and then grounds that in the 3D. So the month of May, maybe you're going to be um, embodying unconditional love. You're going to be um, coming into some kind of union with yourself. It also helps you accept your current situation and circumstances. And it helps with um, kind of like being more accepting of yourself. You know, if you've been struggling to like validate or approve yourself, and this is a really wonderful stone. So let us see what is going on, group two. Group two for the month of May. Be gentle with yourself this month. I feel like you've got a tendency to judge yourselves quite harshly, group two. So be gentle. Try to let go of judgments of yourself and others. Month of May. We have the Ace of Swords. So. There's going to be... Um, some important conversations this month. I really do feel like you're going to be speaking up for yourself. You're going to be kind of like um, being more honest with those around you. And this is definitely like your crown chakra opening. It's like you're finally going to start receiving these downloads from spirit. These honest conversations, I feel like they could be honest conversations with yourself where you talk um, to yourself in like a more loving way. You know what it is you want. You know um, what spirit's guiding you towards because you're getting the downloads here. You're starting to channel your own guidance and this is helping you move forward. It's helping you realize what changes you need to make. Yeah, we have a 10 of swords. You're gonna receive a lot of downloads this month which are gonna help you end quite a painful cycle. There's been a karmic lesson at play here, group two. 
um, quite a painful karmic lesson as well which you are going to be ending here there's going to be new beginnings and there's going to be endings this month i'm getting don't cling so don't hold on to what is meant to end quite naturally don't hold on to anything from a past because as you do that you're you're hurting yourself you're keeping yourself stuck there's something about like it's definitely like past life vibes i'm getting here where there's been a cycle which you've been learning and it's something which is um it's got like past life karma attached to it or like it's been a lesson which you need to learn which you've repeated for past lives and that's coming to completion here and um, seeing that you're going to be cutting cords to someone from the past so you're going to be cutting cords to someone who's been keeping you stuck yeah we have the wheel of fortune you um you're going to be moving forwards this month there's going to be a change in fate. If you've been feeling quite stuck, then things are going to start shifting here. And I am seeing that you're breaking yourself free. There's been someone around you, I feel, who's been keeping you very stuck. Someone who's been blocking your progress and you're guided to cut cords with them this month or perhaps you just have. And as you've removed them from your life, you're freeing up the space um, for this to start shifting here. You know, you're unblocking this path for you. It's a month of healing here, group two. I definitely feel like you are doing some um, emotional healing, which is going to help you move forwards. They say finances are stuck, so maybe you feel like um, you're not in like the place financially where you want to be. There's like a sense of frustration around your financial situation, and that's going to shift as you close out this cycle yeah we have the eight of cups so you're not fulfilled right now you know that there's something missing from your life and i sense that you want to you want to find something for more meaningful you want to either earn more money you want something greater you're not happy so this month you're guided to start thinking about what it is you want to move towards start choosing the path that you want to take here um, and and if you aren't happy with your current situation, then it's really important you do break free of this because it's keeping you stuck. I'm feeling here like group two, you need to take some kind of ownership about your your life. You need to take some kind of ownership about your current situation and make the changes needed. The month of May is like, you're gonna have the chance to move forwards here, but you do have to take that first step yourself it's like once you take the first step to freeing yourself of this past cycle spirit will support you spirit will then kind of turn the wheel for you and there'll be some like divine intervention here to to bring about what it is you're asking for they're just asking you to take the first step and then the rest will just start falling into place there's a shift in your emotional state this month group one you're definitely becoming more balanced emotionally Yeah, we have the ten of coins things are going to start looking up here the month of may um i am really seeing that you're going to have more stability you're closing out some huge cycles here we've got two tens and we've got well, three tens because we've got the wheel of fortune as well and an ace so this is a month of endings it's a month of endings and then new beginnings so there's a lot closing out in your life right now you've finished a big chapter of your um of your life you've finished a big chapter of your healing as well and now you're preparing to move um in a different direction you're preparing to find something more meaningful to find like what it is your life purpose actually is here we have the nine of coins so i i feel like you're going to be single this month you know if you are in a relationship then don't worry that doesn't mean you're going to break up with your partner although it might do um it just means here that you're going to be enjoying your own life your own company there's been some codependency in relationships in the past here group two i feel like you either attract codependent partners or you are quite codependent in in relationships so this month you're going to be truly enjoying your own company um focusing on your own growth and i'm just getting like really embodying unconditional love like you're learning how to let go of attachments that's probably why you chose this stone archangel michael is helping you this month um in finding unconditional love in being able to love unconditionally without attachments without expectations letting you know letting love flow freely to you i'm seeing like you've been on this this quest i'm seeing like a labyrinth here and it's like you've been um trying to find the center of yourself you've been on some kind of like journey of discovery about who you are yeah we have the knave of coins here so 
I'm being given a peacock, so I'm seeing the peacock, and they're saying like be more confident, start to like show yourself off a little bit more. And um, the month of May, it's time for you to to not be scared of being yourself here. Someone wants to give you quite a big offer, but I feel like this person is not moving. There's someone here who's waiting for you to break free of this attachment to end this cycle and then they're going to give you something. This is someone who has a lot of love for you. They love tattoos as well. I am seeing like a neck tattoo in particular and like a full sleeve. So maybe they've got tattoos. Um, but this person, they want to give you something quite stable and they don't know how to do it right now. There's like a blocking communication. I feel like perhaps you're in separation with someone who you've been in like a codependent relationship with before and this is the month where you just focus on yourself on living your life having fun and then perhaps this person's going to come in further down the line they're not quite ready to to communicate with you they're not quite ready they're working on their offer as you work on healing like you two are mirroring and um, you're not ready for this relationship and they are not ready to to give to you yeah, we have the King of Swords. So this person is not communicating right now. And we have the Queen of Cups. You could be a water sign. They could be an air sign. But there's been some conflict in this relationship in the past. So around love, what I'm seeing here is that you are very loving, but you can get very attached to people. You want to nurture. You want to mother people. And this month is about you giving that love to yourself, loving yourself unconditionally, letting go of judging yourself. And this King of Swords here... Um, they want to give you something. I feel like they're even feeling your energy shift. They're feeling you maybe starting to attract some admirers here because I do sense there's going to be some people um, messaging you. I don't know if this is going to be serious, but I feel like there's going to be a few people who are just sending you some messages here and there and um, trying to flirt with you, trying to chat with you, get to know you. Um, and this person is feeling it. This person is looking at you as you are looking away. So it's like you're starting to move away from this person, especially with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I'm seeing here that you're not running, um, you're not chasing, but you're just like moving away from this person, looking for something greater, something more meaningful, because this has kept you stuck. This has been a painful situation. There's been a lack of clarity. There's been um, a real block in this connection. So it's brought you a lot of pain and you're deciding to move on from this you're trying to move forward here move towards something more stable i feel like this person you have a lot of love for but you know that it didn't have a stable foundation and they weren't giving you the security that you wanted in a relationship but now this person is looking at you we're going to see what's going on with this because i'm quite intrigued um but you're definitely not looking at them you're looking away from them this month and that's got their eyes back on you and this person is kind of preparing what it is to do or say. They're working on an offer here. So what is going on around this situation for the month of May? This person has shut out their emotions in the past and it has ended up bringing them more pain. Okay, so um, I'm getting some downloads. So what I'm getting here is that actually... I don't know if this is the same person. There could be two people in your life. One is someone you've disconnected from who there's a block with currently. And the other one is someone who wants to give you something quite stable. Someone who could offer you that 10 of coins, could offer you that long-term stability here. But I do feel like you're going to be choosing to stay single or you're just enjoying your life here with a nine of coins. Um, everything is starting to shift. You're going through a month here of deep emotional healing where you can begin to move forwards. The wheel is moving. You're shifting direction. You're changing momentum. You're really moving forwards at quite a quick, um, quite a quick rate. And this has got the person who you are blocked from right now, who you're kind of like in separation with, they are facing a lot of pain this month. Very Ten of Swords energy where they're kind of hitting rock bottom this month. Um, and there could be someone new who is communicating with you, someone who you you either don't know yet or, you know, you don't know them very well. You're going to be getting to know them. This is someone who you have a strong spiritual connection with as well. And they're going to give you an offer or they want to give you something or they're waiting for like the right time to, to give you um, something quite stable. So this could be two people. It could also be the same person where they are this month facing like hitting rock bottom and then they want to communicate here. But I'm, I am picking up on two energies, if I'm being honest. And with the Ace of Cups, I feel like perhaps you're moving away from the person who you are in separation with and moving towards this knave of coins, moving towards someone who could give you 
the coins it's like they're not your king like you know that they're not really the one that you want but you're intrigued and you're kind of like willing to get to know them and open up to um to this connection yeah we have the four of cups here so you're going to be getting an offer this month the month of may is like you are going to be getting um an opportunity here with someone I feel like this person could help you with your healing as well. Like this person could very well have been sent to you um, by Archangel Michael, by your guides. This person's been sent to you to help you heal. This, with a past life vibes, I'm really getting there is a strong past life connection here between these two people or between all of you. Like this is like a soul group connection where there's some kind of past life cycle being repeated. This is really exciting. I feel like I could do this reading for hours and um, so I'll try not to, to drag it on too much but there's someone here who has a really really strong past life connection with you and this king of swords and they're coming in and I feel like they're the one which is going to like shift this connection. They're going to put the person that you're disconnected from like deep in their feelings very important they're an important piece of a puzzle in um in like ending this karmic cycle that you and this person you've been separated from it's like ending a cycle between you both the month of may this is more love than anything else yeah this person's gonna be upset four of wands I feel like this is wow we've got the lovers on the bottom four of wands and the lovers on the bottom you're in separation with your divine counterpart there is someone coming into your life or who may already be in your life who's going to give you something or wants to give you something to move things forward you're going to be getting to know this person and this shift has got your divine counterpart looking at you it's got this person um giving you their attention again but they're now feeling a lot of pain they're really feeling like they've hit rock bottom this month they want to shift out of this they're going to be having to like build themselves up and you're going to have a decision to make maybe not this month but over the next couple of months i say by september um you're going to have a decision about whether or not you choose the ten of coins with this new person this is someone who could give you stability security and you could have a happy um a happy a happy life with all the four of wands and this is your twin flame this is your divine counterpart this is this person who you have the soul connection with like the strongest like this is someone who you truly love but this has been such a painful connection in the past so yeah with the lovers on the bottom there's a choice this month there really is there's a choice this month or coming up where you get to choose between two people one more card for the month of may five of swords and we have the hanged man so firstly i'm getting that things might be on hold right now it might be, be quite stuck or what has been okay no what i'm actually getting is that what has been stuck is going to become unstuck this month um, and the five that's the month of may and the five of swords is saying there's a conflict i think two people are going to be fighting for your love here i really do I'm seeing like sword in the stone. It's like they're both trying to get this sword out of the stone. They're both, and we've got the ace of swords as well at the start. So that is that sword in the stone. Something's been stuck and it's like two people are going to be fighting for your love here. I don't know if this is going to be in the 3D or just energetically, but I'm just sensing that two people here are ready um, to battle this out. And this is like a past life situation which has been repeating. So these two people have definitely fought for your love in the past. This is not the first time it's happened. It's a karmic past life situation repeating, coming back round again. Um, and you get to choose. Do you know what I love as well? Um, the way these cards are. So the Queen of Cups was like that and these two like this. Both of them, their eyes are on her and she's just looking ahead. Both these people are looking at you very closely, maybe even watching you on social media. There's a huge awakening going on for your divine counterpart. This is the wake up call they need. They hit rock, bat they hit rock bottom and then they build themselves up. And with the four of wands, I really do sense that this person's gonna be asking uh, over the next couple of weeks to reconnect with you. But let us get some um, Romance Angel to see what is going on the month of May for you.
chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So yeah, there is. Like, people are being magnetized towards you. You are really embodying such a wonderful energy. You are embodying unconditional love. So congratulations. Like, this is something that lots of people struggle um, to reach. They, they, lots of people have expectations around love. They have um, attachments to people, especially expectations around their counterpart. Like some people are very critical about their divine counterpart, but you have really worked on embodying unconditional love and you are now attracting what is meant for you. You are attracting love into your life, including your divine counterpart and someone new here. And this new person with a playfulness card, I'm getting that this is going to be fun. This person is going to bring out your inner child. It's going to just bring a lot of fun to your life. Um, yeah, there is a strong chemistry here. Someone is being pulled towards you. Multiple people are being pulled towards you. But two people in particular, your divine counterpart and another, are getting ready to fight for this. Let me get one more card. Yeah, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Calling your soulmate in. You have attracted, you have manifested this knave. You've manifested this person who's going to be contacting you. Um, and it is safe for you to love. You know, you get a decision here. You get a choice. You know, people see the twin flame connection as a romantic one and it's not. You get a decision about what you want to do here, who you want to be with. And if the time is right, you know, I'm getting, don't rush this decision. Let me put those to one side and I'll do the rest of the cards. Don't rush this decision because take your time. There is no need to rush here. Your divine counterpart has to come in with stability at the end of the day, not just because um, they love you. Playfulness, again, the month of May, you're going to be having fun. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. You're going to be having fun this month, guys. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And then we have sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow this month. You will be surprised where it leads. And on the bottom, we've got a secret admirer. Um, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Yeah, I feel like this is your divine counterpart. They are a bit of a secret admirer right now. Maybe they're staying distant and just watching you on social media. Um, but the love is the love is there. Both of these people are watching you this month. The month of May, group two. Step out of your comfort zone communication is key i love this um there's going to be someone here getting to know you someone here who you're going to be um talking with this could be sorry this could be the new person with a step out of your comfort zone like you're going to be communicating with someone new um and you're going to be kind of exploring this relationship this connection communication is key this could also be that your divine counterpart is having to step out of their comfort zone and contact you and actually speak up here so it's going to be different for different situations but i feel like this is both ways it's like both of you are being guided to step out of your comfort zone so for you this is talking to other people because that's releasing an attachment to your divine counterpart that's you opening up to new possibilities new people your divine counterpart they're having to step out of their comfort zone and unblock you and speak to you speak their truth they know that they need to communicate let us get spirit animal cards. So for the month of May, let's see what your spirit animal is. This is going to be um, the animal that you see throughout this month as confirmation that this reading is for you. So um, yeah, pay attention to the signs and messages from spirit. You'll see this animal like as confirmation. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. We've got parrot spirit, watch your words on the bottom. I definitely feel like someone wants to unblock you or contact you this month. And mouse spirit, that's just saying like you keep moving forwards. Um, they just show you that the elephant is scared of a mouse. So perhaps, you know, you feel like your divine counterpart is this elephant, is this like big, strong, powerful person. And you might feel like a mouse here, but actually the mouse is mighty. So I'm just getting this month, Focus on the little things which are inside of your control. This is a very gentle month for you with so much going on behind the scenes. So just keep focusing on taking small steps forwards and the mouse is going to be sign um, or confirmation that this is your reading. Okay, I love that group too. That was a really wonderful reading. Um, let me get a drink and then we will go on to group three, which is Lapis Lazuli. Okay, group three. 
You chose this lapis lazuli stone, which is, um, it's got strong Egyptian vibes. I love this crystal. Um, strong Egyptian vibes and it embodies like high priestess energy. So maybe you are very spiritual, very psychic. You've got your own kind of like um, psychic abilities which you're using. This helps stimulate like wisdom um, and good judgment. It's a stone of learning as well. So maybe the month of May, you're going to be learning something new. You're going to be studying um, and it activates like your higher mind. So you can actually start to open up to kind of like new ideas and new things. Um, it's a stone of truth as well. So it helps with communication, it encourages honesty. Um, so there's going to be yeah, more, more truth and honesty entering your life this month. Um, and it assists with friendships and balancing relationships. It helps with kind of like loving communication here. So perhaps, you know, you're going to be having some, um, some nice conversations with people. You're going to have some nice friendships this month as well, like reconnecting with friends maybe. And it just helps with, yeah, like deep and loving communication. So let us see group three. What is your month of May? Things are getting smoother, group three. So I'm already getting, things are, um, are getting smoother. I'm seeing like a bike along a dirt track and it's like a really bumpy one. And I'm just seeing then you're moving on to a road. So it's like you've been off track and you're getting back on the road. Um, you've been wandering off your path and now you're finding your path again. So you're finding yourself again, which is wonderful. Okay, yeah, we have the two of pentacles here. So the month of May is like completing a big transformation for yourself. Yeah, look, three of swords on the bottom, you've been healing. It's going to be more balanced, restored in your relationships. It's like you're ready um, to, to finish your transformation. You're ready to kind of come out of your comfort zone. You're ready to get back on track. You've been kind of withdrawn, like retreating here from the world is what I'm feeling. And now you're ready to, you know, to get back to your life, to get back to yourself here. There's going to be like um, two things that you're juggling this month as well. So I do feel like, you know, don't get stressed. Try to stay balanced here because there's going to be two things which you're trying to, to manage. This could be like two different jobs. It could be that you've got, yeah, like two different things on the go here. Um, I am being given two different partners. So maybe, you know, you have multiple people. Maybe you're dating or, you know, you're in a relationship and there's someone else who you're interested in. Um, but there's some kind of juggling here, which is, um, yeah, which is kind of like maybe going to be a little bit challenging this month. And we have the mother of swords. So you're being guided to really, I'm getting like, um, have some boundaries here. It could be that someone else has been trying to juggle you and you're having to have some boundaries and you're like, do you know what? I don't want to be juggled anymore. I want to be number one. I want to be made a priority. And um, it could be that you are the other person on the side or, you know, your partner's been seeing someone else. Take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, there's something about you're trying to find some balance this month. And um, maybe this has already happened and you're trying to recover from it. You're still healing from this. Um, I'm getting that this is definitely a month of higher knowledge and wisdom. It's a month of you learning new things here. And um, there's been some past deception around you. I'm not going to lie, group three. So I am seeing there's been some deception um, that's gone down here. But you're now, you, you've seen the bigger picture. You've like seeing what is going on here you're not in the dark anymore and it's time for you to just focus on like moving forwards and i'm getting just kind of focus on just forgiveness it sounds hard but i'm just sensing here that basically you're still holding on to some kind of resentment and it's time for you to really forgive i'm getting like drop your guard just have clear boundaries about you you know for yourself have clear boundaries about this relationship in particular if it's something which is still going on for you um but just focus on forgiveness and moving forwards like don't be bitter don't be like angry or jealous because all of those are really low vibe feelings like work on healing those emotions and then just like rising above it The month of May is mainly a month of you restoring that balance back into your life here. Um, yeah, we have the Mother of Cups coming kind of like coming back into your true self, moving from the Mother of Swords to the Mother of Cups, which means you're going to be um, moving into like a more loving and healing place. Now, the thing is, 
the mother of swords that's kind of like someone who can be very very cold very manipulative the mother of cups in this deck i love because swans are like a really loving animal you know the mother of cups is saying like they're family orientated emotional and loving but fiercely protective over what is right like you need to have clear boundaries but also have your heart open this month is a month of you kind of like finding that love again but then also having the boundaries to put yourself first like put your foot down when things are not right balancing out your head and your heart i feel like there's just been a disconnect here where either you're all in emotionally and you don't think like logically about things or you're all in your head and you close your heart space so you're going to be balancing those two here throughout this month where you start to be able to think and feel you know, use your head and your heart to make decisions here and put yourself first you always put other people before you group three we have the eight of swords so it's funny here and um, because we've got the butterfly moving into the cocoon so perhaps you're going to be withdrawing again maybe this month is a month of you just going back within here and focusing on your own transformation um just having a couple of weeks of of um withdrawal of like retreating from the world and focusing on yourself here i just sense like you want to kind of retreat a little bit you want to have some time for yourself you know enter like a more healing space which is fine you know i feel like the month of may your know, tourist season for me is always really slow i never get much done in tourist season so you know maybe you just need this month of just going back into your cocoon you know focusing on loving yourself and healing yourself Healing your heart space so that you can actually open up your heart again. It's like until you've healed that hurt, you can't actually fully open your heart. And we have a two of swords. Lots of twos here. There's balance needed. I really do feel like you're going to be having to balance things. Um, and this could be like balancing your healing and like your just like life, like getting your responsibilities in order. Um, but there's some kind of balance which you need to find here. And you need to start to um to focus on your own energy i'm getting that like you need to focus on giving yourself all of your energy rather than giving it to other people you are an over giver you've given to too many people in the past we have the father of cups here so there is going to be someone here who is going to be um coming back into your life quite soon i feel like over the next two months i don't think it'll be the month of may i think it'll be after may i think it'll be like june time um June to August, I'm seeing this person coming into your life. Um, and it's someone who is your counterpart. It's someone who is your mirror. Like, look, they're the, the masculine swan. You're the feminine swan. This is someone who right now you are disconnected from and you're in some kind of withdrawal. You're both retreating from each other. But this is what's going to bring the balance out. There's been an argument. There's been a conflict here. There might have even been a third party situation where this person has had someone else on the side or you have had someone else on the side. Um, but I definitely feel like this is shifting. Whatever is going on between you both, it's important that you have this time apart. You have this time of like healing so that the, the balance can be restored and this stalemate can end. There's been arguments and conflict here which has hurt you both and got you disconnected. We have the Son of Cups. So you're going to have a family with this person. This is someone who you will have children with. Maybe you've already got a child with this person. And we have the Six of Cups here. So yeah, there's this is someone who you are going to have a family with or maybe you already do you've already set down roots with this person you um already have like some kind of foundation and that feels like it's been like ripped apart but i'm just getting that the two of you actually just need a bit of space right now and within two months this is going to balance itself out but this month it's important that you don't get stuck in the past that you don't start thinking too much about um the memories and you just focus on your own healing really withdraw retreat spend time on your own this month and um, connect to your inner child this person who you're connected to they've got a lot of growing up to do this is someone who really does need to um to, to reach your level but they're going to come back if you're worried about reconciliation this person is going to be coming back into your life what else do you need to know yeah we have the seven of wands look this fire has not gone out 
Um, it's just important that the two of you part ways for now, but I am seeing that there's going to be communication. This is going to move forwards very quickly, either within the next two months or just after the next two months. Maybe you've already been in like a period of separation with this person and things are going to start picking up speed. Take it as it resonates because there's something about two months separation and then like a lot of movement. So the fire has not gone out. This person is going to be working hard to win you back, back, back round, basically. I feel like don't give up. I think right now you want to give up and Spirit's saying do not give up um, on love. You know, it's safe to walk away from this person because you're going to be attracting the love that you deserve. You will get the love which you've been asking for and I do sense that this person is going to be healing but right now they just have a lot of growing up to do and it's important that you focus on your own recovery more than anything and um, there's going to be conversations here you know this lapis lazuli it is a stone of loving um, and honest and deep um, communication so there is going to be communication here either this month or just after like you're going to start attracting that but it's so important that you you go into hermit mode i feel like you need to actually focus on clearing your own headspace first of all Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. You need to put the burden down. I feel like when you actually retreat, that is when you restore the balance to yourself and you get to, to put this burden down. You get to like end the struggle, basically. You've been struggling a lot with this connection and now it's important that you step away. I feel like you've been trying to balance this person, this connection and like your career, your life and that can't go on. This month, it's, it's time for you to kind of put that to one side and just focus on your life. Focus on um, moving towards your life purpose. This is a strong twin flame connection, I feel, because you two have like this infinity sign and it's like this connection cannot be broken, but you're disconnected right now. And you are only burdening yourself by worrying about this too much. So it's important that you actually let go of the burdens around this um, and don't worry about what is going on. Yeah, the month of May, we have the Five of Swords here. It's important to, I'm getting, listen to your heart and listen to your head um, and also like move away from the conflict. There's been, there's been an argument between you and this person and it really has kind of like, it's hurt you both. I feel like you might have feel like it, it ended the relationship, like it, it really did stop this, but I'm getting it's not. All it's doing is it's ending one cycle, one part of a relationship, so you can move forward into like something better. But it's important that you have that clean break. And um, I feel like this feels like it's over and it's so important that it feels that way because it's like you have to both accept the ending of this situation so it can transform. But there is gonna be life. I'm getting like life after death. Like there's gonna be um a new cycle that, that begins between you both. Yeah, we've got a ten of cups on the bottom. So where's that other card just gone? So this is someone who you are going to settle down with. I love this nine of wands and the nine of wands in this um, this deck. It's a staircase. You're moving towards a higher vibration um, in this connection. You're moving towards like more commitment but it's like there has to be a clear ending here before there can be a new beginning so it's like things have had to come to a complete end here accept the ending and um, re retreat withdraw and just focus on your own healing but i do feel like there will be a reconnection with this person in the future i just can't tell you exactly when yeah romantic feelings you know your feelings are real they're worth exploring here this is someone who you both genuinely have a lot of love for um, but it's had to end. There's had to be that closure, I suppose. Okay, these are flying. Getting to know each other and love yourself first. So yeah, you're having to focus on yourself. That is why I'm seeing you in this cocoon. You're having to withdraw, focus on um, loving yourself completely, and then you can get to know this person again. Um, because you know your feelings here are real. You know that there is a really deep connection with this person, and you are going to be exploring that, those feelings again. You're going to be exploring that connection. But it's like, first of all, you need to, to work on self-love. Once you love yourself more, that is when there will be an improvement. Yeah, we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Do not worry about um about the month of May. Do not hold on to any time related expectations. This will happen when it's meant to. So you know, let go of um of rushing this. 
look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So yeah, you have, there is a lot of love between you and this person. This person really does have genuine feelings for you um, even if they're not expressing it even if they've been quite cold and cutting in the past you know that this person loves you way more than they let on the month of may for you so let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of may don't let your past hold you back and work through your fears adjustments are required so yeah you know there's some changes which are needed for both of you to make um and you know you're being guided not to let your past hold you back to keep working through your fears here to keep working on yourself because there's a lot of um healing which is needed but this connection you know it can come back together it's just like you need to make the changes within yourself first of all Okay, let's get your spirit animal card for the month of May. So this is going to be the spirit animal that you see throughout this month as confirmation that this reading is for you. Um, and let's see what message the spirit animal has for you this month as well. I mean, a swan is definitely going to be a strong sign for you. I've not even like got the card yet, but you know, you'll see swans as confirmation. We have elephant spirit, learn from the past. Yeah, you two, you've had a turbulent past. There's been lots of conflict here um, and you're now having to set healthy boundaries for this connection for yourself. You're really um, having to kind of like move away from this connection so that it can transform, learn from the past. This is giving you both the opportunity to learn your lessons. It's giving you both a chance to actually um, disconnect and focus on your own healing you know the ten of cups here i do feel like this is someone who you will be with long term but it's like it needs to end so that it can have a new beginning there needs to be um lessons learned from the past before you two can start a new chapter together okay i hope you enjoyed that reading guys and um, let me know in the comments what you chose and what resonated send you all so much love and light